It is now quarter after six. Still need to shop for the perfect Valentine's Day gift? Well, make sure you shop safely and don't get swindled. From flowers to chocolates to jewelry, there are a lot of sellers out there, and scammers, unfortunately, are among them. Destin Richards in studio now with how to shop smart for Valentine's Day. When shopping for any gift-giving holiday, the pressure is on to get the perfect gift as soon as possible. But you need to be careful where and how you shop online, especially if it involves peer-to-peer -peer payment systems like Cash App, PayPal, or Venmo, and you're buying from a stranger. SCCU has a fraud and security department where they deal with victims of online shopping scams regularly. And their advice, shop local from a brick and mortar or a verified online business that has a credit card payment system set up. Be cautious if transactions are taken offline. What we want people to remember is when using the peer-to-peer -peer payment systems, it is just like handing someone cash or mailing someone cash. So consider, would I hand someone cash? Would I mail someone cash who I don't know if I haven't received that good or service that I'm paying for? SCCU says the main tactic scammers use to get online shoppers is a false sense of urgency. They'll try to take control of the situation and push you to make a payment immediately. One way they do this, giving the illusion that the good or service you're buying will soon be unavailable or the deal they're offering you will expire if you don't pay right away. The bad news is when you use a peer-to-peer -peer payment app and end up getting scammed, it's out of the hands of your credit card company or financial institution. Coming up, how to tell if you've fallen victim to an online shopping scam and what the next steps are to get it resolved. In studio, I'm Destiny Richards for News Now.